स्वीट पोटैटो टिक्की Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I'm Sonika, and the recipe we're making today is a starter. It's not just another normal, regular starter. We're making a sweet potato tikki, but this one's really interesting, and you're going to see why. So let's quickly run through the ingredients: boiled and mashed sweet potatoes, boiled chickpeas, water chestnuts, dried cranberries, fresh chopped coriander, roasted cumin seeds, red chilli flakes, finely chopped garlic, salt, crushed black pepper, oil. Now this recipe is really simple. You've seen the ingredients we're using, and they're kind of fancy and a little different to make a tikki. But this tikki does turn out fabulous. So let's start preparing it. What we're going to do for this is we've got some chickpeas which have been boiled. We're going to add them into a mixer jar, and along with this, we're going to add a couple of water chestnuts. Now water chestnuts have a great flavor. In case you don't get fresh water chestnut, you could always use canned. To this, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. and now we're going to grind this into a coarse paste you don't want to grind this to a completely fine puree you just want a slight bite from the ingredients so let's blitz this so what we're going to do next is we're going to mix together all the other ingredients as well so let's get some sweet potatoes in a bowl to this we're going to add the chickpeas and the water chestnut that we pureed or mashed Next, we'll season this with some salt. We're going to add in some roasted cumin seeds. I'm going to add quite a bit of these because they give a great flavor in the tikkis. Next, let's add in some chopped garlic, some red chilli flakes, a little bit of crushed black pepper, some fresh coriander. And finally, we're going to add in some cranberries, but I'm going to roughly chop these up before I add it to that. In case if you don't find cranberries, you can substitute these with raisins. They may not taste just as good, but they'll do just fine. And now I'm going to use my hands to bring all of this together. We've got our mixture for the tikkis ready. We're going to heat some oil in a pan, and we're going to start shaping these into tikkis and then fry them. So I'm going to shape these into really small, tiny tikkis because I don't want them to take really long to cook. So we're making tiny, bite-sized portions. So now the oil has gone really nice and hot, and we've shaped the tikkis. So we're going to place them in the hot oil. And now we're going to fry this till it's nice and golden brown on both sides, and then we can get ready to serve. Now that these have gone nice and golden brown on one side, we're going to flip them over, and we're going to cook them till they get the same color on the other side as well. The tikkis are done on the other side as well. I'm going to quickly get them on an absorbent paper. Now we're going to garnish this with a sprig of mint. So here it is a fabulous recipe for a sweet potato tikki. We've used unusual ingredients like dried cranberries, water chestnut, and chickpeas that you don't normally find in a tikki. But this is a fabulous recipe, so make sure you try it.